okay <coughs> so uh, that were some of the applications of uh, probabilistic graphical models okay so uh, let's pass through uh, different notations nodes uh, random variables uh, edges probabilistic uh, relationships uh, the lack of edges uh, will basically uh, provide information uh, on independence relationships so a graph has a number of nodes and number of edges the number of nodes represented uh, from 1 to V and the number of edges if it is an un, uh, if it is a directed graph uh, the pair uh, S comma T where the arrow goes from S to T you can represent both directed and undirected graph with the help of uh, adjacency matrix you find in an adjacency, adjacency matrix uh, G of S T comma uh, S comma T equal to 1 if there is an edge that goes from S to T belongs to the set of edges E this allows you to extend uh, this to undirected graph that is uh, G uh, S comma T equal to 1 implies g t comma s is equal to 1 then it is an undirected graph two examples so you have uh, nodes 1 2 3 4 5 you call the node uh, 1 the root you can see that there are no arrows going into the node 1 and hence uh, we may call it as a root there is no arrows going out of uh, the node 5 so uh, nodes 4 and 5 have no children so these are leaves the the parent of a node are uh, the nodes uh, which in which uh, you check the adjacency matrix uh, which is g of t s equal to 1 so for example uh, the parent of a node 6 here are 2 and 5 we write, write it as pi 6 equal to 2 comma 5 or in uh, some other uh, notation in available in different textbooks equal to is uh, x pi 6 equal to x2 comma s x6 etc the children of a node s is basically the set of nodes in which uh, g s t comma uh, s comma t equal to 1 uh, the family of a node s is the set of parents and uh, S yes, and the parents of S. Notice that the children are not included in the family list here. Uh, of course, uh, we have seen, uh, we know that root is the node with no parents and leaf has no children as well. The ancestors of a node T are all the nodes S. Uh, which uh, which has a path from s to t in case of a directed graph a directed path but in case of an undirected uh, any path uh, from s to t will do it will will be okay and the descendants uh, of a node t is uh, basically all the nodes uh, s that can be reached from t that is uh, all the nodes S uh, which has a trail from T to S and again in case of uh, directed graph it is a directed uh, trail 
and in case of an undirected uh, an undirected uh, path from s to t will be okay t to s will be okay so uh, that are ancestors and uh, descendants of a node in a graph the neighbors of a node are uh, defined as <coughs> All, all the nodes in which uh, g of s, s comma t equal to 1 or g of t comma s is equal to 1 uh, in uh, in finding the neighbors of a graph node even if it is in it is a directed graph uh, the origination origination of the node is uh, not important so uh, so the degree of a node is the number of uh, neighbors of the nodes the in and out degrees are actually represented by the direction of arrows actually uh, and uh, it counts the number of parents and children the in degrees uh, the number of uh, parents and the out degrees uh, the number of uh, children this is uh, this is an important concept because uh, once we write the joint probability distribution uh, we would say the factorization uh, with in degrees and and the number of parents uh, oh, we'll see it later so look at these diagrams uh, a cycle is a series of nodes uh, such that we can uh, get back to where we have uh, started a directed cycle uh, in the case of a uh, is in the case of a directed graph uh, so you can see that in the figures a and b there are there are no directed cycles but in b there is a uh, there is a directed uh, cycle a directed a cyclic graph is a directed graph uh, with no directed cycle so a and c are directed uh, cyclic graphs actually a contains uh, an undirected cycle uh, this one one two three uh, one two four three one right trees and poly trees okay so a topological ordering is the number of nodes such that the parents have a lower number than their parents uh, for example uh, for the for the given uh, uh, graph 1 2 3 4 5 or 1 3 2 5 4 uh, uh, does the job so an undirected uh, tree is an undirected graph with no cycles for a directed tree there is a single path between every pair of nodes okay a directed tree is a directed uh, cyclic graph with every node has at most at most one parent so uh, wh why do we want uh, one parent and uh, how uh, how that uh, that can be connected to the normalization process we said that uh, the directed tree is a directed acyclic graph in which every node has at most one parent. If any node has two parents, then uh, what is going to happen? Uh, when we transform uh, this graph into an undirected uh, graph and remain those parents, then uh, the resultant uh, graph will contain a cycle, right? So a directed tree is a, a directed acyclic graph with every node has at most one parent. Now, so uh, this will be the ideal situation. So uh, now if we allow in a uh, directed acyclic graph uh, to have a node, uh, node to have more than one parent, and uh, we normalize it effectively uh, you know we get cycles but if, uh, if the undirected graph what we get is a tree then uh, this directed graph we we call it a polytree 
so uh, let's see some of the examples here uh, can you tell me uh, which one of these graphs uh, in a direct uh, is a directed tree and which is a poly tree is this a tree according to our uh, definition right a directed tree is uh, in a every node has one at most one parent right so if uh, we transform this to an undirected graph then uh, there would be some steps so it is actually a poly tree even though it looks like uh, a tree uh, it is a it is a poly tree there you can see that uh, there is a cycle in the resultant graph uh, that is in the poly tree but uh, if you can uh, convert this into a factor graph uh, you can actually uh, apply efficient algorithms and uh, do things better but uh, you need to change the way uh, the graph is actually defined Uh, this is basically the th the same things uh, which uh, we have uh, seen uh, clicks the concept of uh, clicks uh, which we have defined over uh, directed graph or undirected which can be defined over uh, undirected or directed graph a click uh, is a subgraph and a node induced subgraph in which all nodes are neighbors of each other that is uh, there is an edge between all the pair of nodes a maximal click uh, is a click for which uh, we cannot add more nodes into it uh, without violating the click property that is the highest number of interconnected nodes uh, uh, in the graph so uh, uh, this will be an uh, essential thing in um, probabilistic graphical model here is an indirect here is a directed graph and uh, you can normalize uh, you can uh, uh, you can convert this into an undirected graph uh, by uh, that is given here uh, the corresponding moralized graph undirected graph all right so uh, uh, let me give you uh, without any proof how uh, how would a join probability distribution of uh, these uh, seven variables is uh, decomposed into the graph you see here so the notations x uh, 1 uh, to 7 means it represents the join probability of uh, 1 to 7 uh, variables uh, so uh, if you are not given with the graph then the product uh, rule of probability will give you uh, uh, the right hand side of the expression uh, it will be a uh, probability of x1 into probability of uh, x2 given x1 uh, times probability of x3 given x1 comma x2 and so on so uh, if you know if you know the diagram the expression shows in the uh, slide is much simpler compared to the other so uh, how you can translate the graph into uh, uh, this equation that is probability of x1 into probability of x2 given x1 into probability of x3 given x1 etc so each of these uh, factors uh, in uh, is a conditional probability that is uh, a variable is conditional to its parent that is uh, that is how it is arranged in the uh, arranged in the graph each of these probabilities uh, of a random variable are conditioned on 
uh, its uh, parent and that's how it is arranged so if you have uh, these uh, seven variables and each of these variable uh, uh, let's say it takes k values uh, with no independent relation uh, let's say p of x1 takes k values uh, x2 given x1 uh, will take k square x2 uh, x2 given uh, sorry x3 given uh, this one x5 given x2 comma x3 it takes k to the power 3 values and so on uh, and uh, uh, it's obvious that it will quickly become intractable uh, but with uh, independent relations uh, uh, it was uh, without uh, the independent relations it was uh, k to the power 7 but uh, with this independence relationships it will be k to the power 4 only hmm. so in uh, such a case the number of parameters uh, can be reduced uh, significantly Okay, so uh, a directed uh, graphical model or a DGM is a graphical model whose uh, graph is a uh, directed acyclic graph. There are, these are more commonly known as uh, Bayesian networks. these models are also called uh, uh, belief networks the term belief here actually uh, refers to the subjective property subjective uh, uh, subjective probability so once again uh, there is nothing inherently subjective about uh, the kinds of probability distributions represented by directed uh, graphical models these are sometimes uh, known as uh, causal networks for example uh, see this uh, naive base classifier This assumes that the features are uh, conditionally independent given the class label. These assumptions are uh, shown in the figure. This allows you to uh, write the joint distribution as uh, p of y comma x is equal to p of uh, probability of y into the product of uh, probability is j equal to 1 to d uh, probability of x j given y since all these uh, uh, variables are independent of each other it actually only depends upon the class label y so the naive bayes assumption is uh, very naive so since it assumes that the features are conditionally independent actually these uh, there may be features which are dependent so uh, of course uh, the accuracy will be com uh, compromised so one way to capture the relation between features uh, is to use a tree augmented uh, naive base uh, classifier which is known as uh, tan and the reason to use a tree uh, as opposed to a generic graph is first it is easy to find uh, the optimal tree structure using chow Liu algorithm second uh, it is easy to handle missing features in a tree structured model another example uh, 
Markov and hidden Markov model. Figure shows uh, a first order Markov chain as a directed acyclic graph. The assumption that the immediate past x t minus 1 captures everything we, we need to know about the entire history that is x 1 to t minus 2 is is a bit strong we can relax it a little by adding a dependence uh, from x t minus 2 to x t as well <coughs> this is called a second order Markov chain as shown here so in this case uh, you can uh, write the probability uh, sorry corresponding uh, join probability distribution as probability of x1 to t is probability of x1 comma x2 into x3 given x1 comma x2 x4 given x2 comma x3 and so on that is each of these variables are dependent on the immediate previous two variables we can create higher order Markov, Markov models uh, in a similar fashion but these models cannot capture long range relationships as the number of parameters uh, are going to increase with the order of uh, sorry with the order of the chain yeah with the uh, even the second order markov chain may be uh, inadequate uh, if there are long range uh, relationships an alternative approach is to assume that uh, there is an underlying hidden process <coughs> that we call it as a hidden markov model This can be uh, modeled by a first order Markov chain, but the data is noisy uh, for uh, a noisy observation for this process, and the result is a hidden Markov model HMM. Here, uh, ZT is known as the hidden variable at time t, and XT is the observed variable. So, every <coughs> for every uh, uh, visible variable, there will be a corresponding hidden variable <coughs> so there is a first order Markov chain among the hidden variables so uh, the transition model probability of ZT given ZT minus 1 The hidden variable often uh, uh, represent the quantity of interest such as the identity uh, of the word that someone currently is speaking. The observed variables are uh, what we are able to measure such as the uh, acoustic uh, waveform in the case of a speech signal. What we would like to do is to estimate the hidden state given the data so we are uh, here to est uh, estimate probability of z t given x1 to t this is called a state estimation uh, process another example uh, medical diagnosis Here we are interested to model the relationship between uh, variables measured in a measured in an ICU which are like uh, breathing rate of a patient, blood pressure etc. This is called the alarm networks, uh, alarm network uh, which is uh, created by a hand this model has 37 uh, variables and 504 parameters 
this is a model created by hand which uh, by a process called uh, knowledge engineering or uh, this model is called a probabilistic expert system A different kind of medical diagnosis network known as uh, QMR model, the QUIC medical reference network uh, designed to model infectious uh, diseases. This model is a bipartite graph structure with uh, diseases at the top and symptoms or findings at the bottom. So diseases at the top and symptoms at the bottom here HS represents the hidden nodes and VT represents the visible nodes the probability distribution for the root nodes is just a Bernoulli distribution representing the prior probability of that disease Representing the cumulative probabilities uh, for the leaves using uh, uh, using our uh, using the CPTs may requires many parameters because the fan in uh, or number of parents of uh, many uh, leaf nodes is very high. A natural uh, alternative is to use logistic regression to model the CPT, CPD that is uh, probability of v, VT equal to 1 given HPA T equal to the sigmoid of WTT HPAT which is a direct directed graphical model in which the cumulative probability distributions are the logistic uh, regression uh, distribution is known as a sigmoid belief net. However, since these uh, parameters of this model are created by hand, an alternative uh, CPD which is known as the noisy OR model can be used. The noisy OR model uh, assumes that if a parent is on, then the child will usually also will be uh, on since it is an OR gate <coughs> but occasionally the links from parents to child may fail uh, independently at random in this case even if the parent is on then the child will be off to model this more precisely let theta st equal to 1 minus qst be the probability that S to T link fails so Q S T equal to 1 minus theta S T probability of V T equal to 1 given H S equal to 1 and H minus S equal to 0 is the probability that S can activate T on its own uh, without uh, from its parent the only way for uh, the child to be off is if all the links from parents all the links from all parents are on fail independently at random so that is uh, another uh, model for medical diagnosis the noisy or model The noisy OR model have been used in human causal learning uh, and binary classification settings. <coughs> Given some observations or findings, the typical inference problems of uh, interest uh, can be obtained 
uh, from uh, this medical diagnosis For example, uh, it's very difficult to calculate uh, PO probability of diseases uh, given some findings, but it is easy to calculate probability of uh, findings given diseases. So, uh, some of the inference uh, problems like what are the marginal posterior probabilities over the diseases, what is the most likely setting over uh, the underlying disease variables which test to be carried out uh, next in order to get most information about this disease etc. Uh, these uh, inference uh, problems can be solved uh, in an efficient manner using graphical models like this. Medical diagnosis uh, can be uh, used for uh, classification as well given observed uh, symptoms what is the probability that uh, this person uh, belongs to this disease category etc so this probability this classification problems uh, can be addressed with supervised learning techniques approximating uh, probability of uh, disease given some of the findings with a function using uh, a training set d comma f 1 to n pairs you can use uh, any uh, supervised learning uh, techniques like uh, support vector machines or neural networks. So, <coughs> you can use it for classification as well. Another uh, important and uh, historically very old application of directed graphical models is the problem of uh, genetic uh, linkage analysis. We start with a pedigree graph uh, which is a directed acyclic graph that represents the relationship between parents and children as shown here. <coughs> we then convert this into a directed graphical model. We want to model uh, the transmission of a certain property say blood type from parent to child. The blood type of a uh, person is an observable quantity that depends on uh, his genetic makeup. So such properties are called phenotypes. The genetic makeup of a person is called a genotype. So uh, using uh, these genotypes and phenotypes uh, we will be able to come up with uh, this uh, directed graphical model. So you human uh, genetic material consists of 22 pairs of uh, chromosomes and a single pair of sex chromosome. Each chromosome contains a set of uh, genetic materials consist of uh, genes that determines a person's properties. A region of chromosomes uh, that is of interest is called a locus and uh, a locus can ha have all several variants called alleles. In each autosomal pair, one chromosome is a paternal chromosome inheritant inheritor from uh, father and the other is a maternal chromosome inherited from mother for genes in an autosomal pair uh, a person has two copies of gene one on each copy of the chromosome thus one of the genes alleles is inherited from person's mother and the other from father The gene comes from comes in three variants A, B and 0. A person's genotype is denoted by an ordered pair and with three choices for each entry there are nine genotypes. The blood type uh, phenotype is a function 
of both copies of genes example if the person uh, has a allele and zero allele her uh, observed blood type is a and if uh, he has uh, zero alleles his observed blood type is zero you can see this example a a b a a zero b zero b b zero zero so this will be the corresponding phenotypes for each uh, person uh, we assign two variables one representing the person's genotype and the other represent the person's phenotypes so this is the penetrance uh, model for each person i and uh, locus j along the genome we create three nodes the observable marker nodes x i j uh, and uh, two hidden alleles g i j m and g i j p one inherited from uh, i's mother and the other inherited from uh, or it's a paternal allele the cpd uh, p of x i j given g i j comma g i j m comma g i j p the maternal allele and uh, paternal allele is called the penetrance model this is the mendel's law for example uh, if a dominates uh, o then uh, a person has if a dominates uh, o then a person has uh, uh, genotype ao or oa their phenotype will be a uh, in addition uh, we add uh, 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 these edges from i's mother and father to gij reflecting mendelian uh, inheritance um, so this is uh, mendelian uh, inheritance so this is what you get after this the resulting directed graphical model is a series of uh, replicated pedigree <coughs> directed acyclic graph <coughs> augmented with uh, this z variables so using the uh, link genetic linkage analysis uh, the task is to identify the location of the uh, disease genes from the pedigree data using some number of pedigrees where a large function of individuals exhibits a disease phenotype the available data is a phenotype information for many individuals in the pedigree uh, or a genotype information uh, and a genotype information for the uh, locus uh, whose location uh, in the chromosome is known using the inheritance model we can evaluate the likelihood of these observations and under different hypotheses about the location of this uh, disease gene relative to the known lo uh, locus so by repeated calculation of the probabilities in the network for different hypotheses we can pinpoint the area linked to the disease <coughs> we can also use this model to determine where along the gene uh, given disease causing uh gene is assumed to lie that is genetic linkage <coughs> sorry suppose all the parameters of the model including the distance between the marker lo uh, locus are known then the only unknown is the location of the disease causing the gene so uh, we pick the model with the highest likelihood computing the likelihood uh, requires the marginalization of uh, hidden uh, and Uh, hidden z and g variables now these are uh, approximate methods based on variational inference
जेनेटिक काउंसलिंग एंड प्रोडिक्शन इन जेनेटिक काउंसलिंग एंड और प्रोडिक्शन वी कैन वन कैन मे वन कैन टेक a phenotype with a non -loc locus and a set of observed phenotype and genotype data for some individuals in the pedigree to infer genotype and phenotype for another person in the pedigree that is uh, for example a plant child the genetic data can uh, consist of direct measurements of the relevant disease locus or measurements of a nearby locus which are correlated with disease locus